Okay, FAQ number 52. Is the King James Version written in Elizabethan English? That's another one. You, you get this. All it was written at the time, you know, when, at the time of, of 1611, it was written in their English, so they used the modern English of their day, so what's wrong with us using the modern English of our day? That's the philosophy. Well, let me show you some English from the day of the King James translators. Okay, how about the uh, translators of the Bible, or the uh, to the most high and mighty Prince James, by the grace of God, King of Britain, France, and Ireland, defender of the faith, the translators of the Bible, which grace, mercy, and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. The translators to King James. This is what they wrote in 1611, okay? Great and manifold were the blessings, most dread sovereign, which Almighty God, the Father of all mercies, bestowed upon us, the people of England, when first he sent your majesty's royal person to rule and reign over us. For whereas it was the expectation of many who wished not well unto our Zion, that upon the setting of that bright occidental star, Queen Elizabeth, of most happy memory, some thick and palpable clouds of darkness would so have overshadowed this land, that men should have been in doubt which way they were to walk, and that it should hardly be known who was to wreck the unsettled state, the appearance of your majesty as of the sun in his strength instantly dispelled those supposed and surmised mists, and gave unto all that were well affected exceeding cause of comfort, especially when we beheld the government established in your highness and your hopeful seed by an undoubted title, and this also accompanied with peace and tranquility at home and abroad. I'm not going to keep reading. That's just the first paragraph. Um, did you hear any the, thou, thy words in there? No. Did you hear any words that ended in E-T-H, F, you know, withholdeth, beholdeth, you know, blesseth, things like that? No, I didn't hear those either. So, you know, and if you go back, I mean, I have I've book uh, with a lot of William Tyndale's quotes. They weren't talking that way either. So this teaching... Again, it's another one of the attacks that the Alexandrian perverts will come out with, and they'll say, well, it's just written in Elizabethan English. Uh, no, it's not. It's written in Biblical English. You see, the translators of the King James Bible were not saying, let's make this thing into our modern hip English, and then it's going to have to be revised over and over and over again to keep up with the English language as the English language goes downhill, which is what's happening, by the way. All languages go downhill. You know why? Because everything on earth goes downhill. It's called the second law of thermodynamics. Everything falls apart over time. It gets worse and worse. That law appears throughout the Bible. Things get worse and worse. You read the Bible, that's the one thing that's consistent. Man always gets worse. Okay, the only thing that gets better in time is what God is doing. Okay, the millennial kingdom and then goes into eternity. All right, and the Millennial Kingdom, by the way, ends with Satan being loosed out of the bottomless pit. And he goes out and deceives the nations, and there's war after a thousand years of peace. So everything always ends in chaos. It always goes down until God puts an end to that and says, okay, time will be no more. We're going into eternity now. Then he undoes the second law of thermodynamics. All right, but the English language was not, the, you know, this, this Bible, I should say, was not designed that, okay, we're going to put it in our English of today, and then you have to just revise it and revise it and revise it. You know, so cool back in the 1800s meant not hot, but now it means it's a good thing. You know, so we have to revise it again. No, 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 no. The translators of the King James Bible said, we're going to take the very highest form of the English language and put it, the Bible, into that language the very highest form, the very best English, and we're going to make the distinctions between thee, thou, thine, and you and ye. You and ye can be plural. Thee, thou, thine is always singular. Okay, you can look that up too. And they wanted to make those distinctions there. Very, very, very important. And so it was written in correct English, the very best of the English language. And I mean, isn't that what we should want as Bible-believing Christians? I mean, if we're going to bring God's Word into our English language, why don't you want to give Him the best? Well, we just want to give Him the, the second-rate street talk out there. Why? Let's give the Lord our very best. Let's give Him the best of the English language. Not Elizabethan. No, no, no. It's 
I mean, you can see right here, translators to the reader, they aren't writing the way that the Bible sounds. And by the way, it's, it's also a very ridiculous thing, you know, to say that, uh, you know, the King James Bible is written in this whole horrible, archaic language. You can't even understand it. You know, that whole thing is another lie that these people, that's the whole reason that they're saying Elizabethan English. They're, they're trying to pretend that you can't understand it, which is absolute nonsense. I mean, just take this verse here as an example. Uh, Nehemiah chapter 7, verse 4. Now the city was large and great, but the people were few therein, and the houses were not builded. Okay? Uh, there were no archaic words in the entire verse. And you can go through the King James Bible over and over and over and over, and over again, you can search whole, whole scriptures, whole portions. There's not one archaic word in the thing. Okay, and the King James Bible, again, a whole other study. I can't get into it in a huge way here, but most of your words in the King James Bible are single-syllable words. Many of the new versions use multiple-syllable words. So the King James Bible is actually easier to understand, easier to read. So this little attack that, oh, it's, it's written in Elizabethan English, it just doesn't hold any water when you actually look at the thing and you say, you know, really? So, no, it was not written in Elizabethan English. It was written in true biblical English, the very best that we have. And we should retain that and we should hold uh, firm the form of sound words, okay? So, another attack that just fizzles out and doesn't mean anything when you actually look at it.